Hello, A car here. I got some new tobacco hornworms. And uh, right now, this one here isn't really active. I just got them like five minutes ago at uh, Petland. This one's not active. I believe he is getting ready to enter his pre pupil stage. He is very big. And they tend to uh, not be as active when they're in this uh, stage or going into this stage. As I mentioned uh, in a past video that um, that they're not dead in this stage. You're just getting ready to become a cocoon. And you, as you can see there, he's moving now. And um, he's just moving. He's smelling the leaf. He may uh, decide to start eating it soon. And anyways, we have these ones here. And I took an unripe tomato and some leaves of the tomato plants that I have in my other videos. And um, that's what I'm feeding them. And yeah, so I sacrificed a, a tomato. But here you can see him thoroughly enjoying his snack, which I have given him. Sorry if it's a bit blurry right now, I don't know why. My camera doesn't seem to want to focus on anything. There we go. You can see him there eating with his uh, maulers. I also found in my yard two other caterpillars, but they're really tiny. You probably won't be able to see them, but they're within this bunch of leaves here. I put this plastic wrap over so that they don't make an escape attempt. I uh, put the food over here and any food that's old or garbage I put over there to decompose. As you, uh, some of you may know, this tank I used <clears throat> for my other plants in, my, in all their videos, but I uh, took that apart because the plants were starting to get too big and the roots were uh, getting too wide and I felt they needed more room to grow. So I took that apart and um, this little guy here is trying to make a run for it. So I'm going to bring him over here. Back to the plant. And yeah, so I gave them eggplant leaves and uh, and stuff like that. All members of the nightshade family of plants is what these tobacco hornworms will eat. As far as these two caterpillars, I have no idea what type they are. One is green and the other one right now is like a, a dark color. I don't know what type of caterpillar it is. I have holes here, one for uh, food and one f to put water for any plants, because eventually I will put plants in here, and you still don't want it overly dry anyways. So that's what I'm doing as far as that. And uh, this one caterpillar over here is uh, in his fourth instar, so I'm going to put him in here with the other two caterpillars. And these two caterpillars, because I don't know what they are, but I did find them in my yard. Um, figuring one of their host plants, which is the plant that they consume, is uh, one of the plants in my yard. Otherwise, the mother would not have laid her egg in my yard. And, uh, yeah, and this guy here is eating the eggplant leaf. I noticed that, so I uh, just decided to show you. This guy here is just enjoying his tomato. These guys love uh, tomato and eggplant type plants. I also noticed outside on the eggplant plant that it um had a um a ladybug larva, and those are really good because any uh, predators of the plant that uh are small, such as aphids and, and um, dust mites, stuff like that. The ladybug larvae, being uh, carnivorous and predatory, will eat those pests. And uh, so they're really good to have and to see when uh, in your yard because you know something is taking care of all those pests and you won't have to worry about them making too much of a mess of your plant. So yeah... These are my new tobacco hornworms. I'll be doing videos on them like I did on the other ones before. 
none of them had survived, that's why I had to stop making videos of them. But, uh, that's, you know, the circle of life in the wild. Only about 2% of the, uh, of the caterpillars would survive. So it's, you know, in the home, I guess it, it is higher because you don't have the predatory risk. A higher uh, chance of them surviving because you don't have the predatory risk. But you also don't have the other aspects such as, um, the rain. You don't have, you know, the, uh, natural, uh, the natural good bacteria of the wild, the natural uh, decomposition process in the wild. You know, it's it's very artificial, and that lowers their risk of their chances of survival. But the uh, lack of predators raises it. So yeah, that's why the other ones did not survive. I told you the reason for some of them not surviving. Like one of them tried to make a cocoon, but was not successful. You know, things like that. Some of them just would, like, stop eating and then starve themselves to death. That is a risk sometimes, but, you know, noth nothing we can really do about it. You know, just kind of go with it. And as far as this guy here, he doesn't seem too keen on this tomato plant, so I'm going to bring him to the eggplant plant with the other one. And maybe he'll enjoy that instead. So, yeah, these are my uh, tobacco hornworms. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please remember to subscribe and comment below. And um, over there I have the... Uh, there I have the um, pineapple that I'm working on, my pineapple project. I hope that works well. If not, then oh well. No loss to me. I planted some ginger outside as well. I know it's late in the season to do so, but... Um, I just wanted to see if I could grow it. If I don't get anything out of it, then I'll plant lit a little bit earlier next year. And um, I'll probably do a video on all that stuff uh, later on in a week or two or so, whenever I'm available. But again, thanks for watching, and goodbye.